What is up guys and welcome to a new series where I use money making guides from the OSRS wiki. If you guys enjoy this idea, I'll definitely make more and try to run through every single one of these on the list, no matter how ridiculous they might be. I'll be trying and testing out these money makers to see how accurate they are so you don't have to. Let's get into the video. What is up guys and welcome to another OSRS wiki money making video. For today's video, we have a suggestion from another viewer. It is to tan Dragonhide, but using the Crafting Guild Tanner instead of the one in Alcarid. So although this method of making money by using the Crafting Guild Tanner isn't on the list, I thought we'd try it out anyways, just to see how much money we could make compared to how much you would make tanning hides at Alcarid. Now for this moneymaker, you'll need access to the Crafting Guild, which I believe you can unlock at level 40 crafting, and you'll also need a brown apron to get into the actual crafting guild. Uh, here I'll be showing my setup that I used throughout this entire one hour. I wore full graceful, which is very important because the dragon hide is actually really heavy when you have a full inventory and your stamina will drain very quickly. I also had 99 agility, which greatly helps out with the stamina, so the higher your agility level, the better. And of course I brought the max cape because it acts as a graceful cape and because it just has very nice benefits. I could use it to teleport to the POH which you could do if needed if you run out of stamina or if you choose not to that's fine too. There's other methods that you can use to help with this process. The main thing that you'll need for this money maker is money and lots of it. I spent around I think I spent over 20 mil in total for the dragon hides that I tanned over the hour so the more money you have the more money you'll be able to make because you won't have to go back to the GE and constantly sell and buy more dragon leather. Of course you don't need 20 mil to do this but like I said before it'll just save you time and you'll make more money if you can just buy all the dragon leather at once. So now I'll just explain uh, how I did this method. I'm showing it now because whenever you watch the one hour footage it's just extremely fast. So here you want to make sure you have your coin stack and you want to make sure you have the rest of it filled up with dragon hide. You go upstairs, you talk to Tanner or the Tanner and he will tan all your hides for you. Right click on the black D hide, tan all and you are good to go. As soon as you tan all, the interface will close by itself and then all you got to do is just click back on the staircase to go downstairs. Once you make it downstairs, you go back to the bank chest, you deposit all of your leather and then you take out more dragon hide and repeat the process over and over again until you either lose sanity or can't click anymore. One thing you might want to do is set up your bank fillers so that whenever you deposit all, you don't deposit your coin stack because I accidentally did that so I had to set up the bank fillers so that I wouldn't bank the coins anymore. And with that being said, we can finally get into the one hour of tanning dragon hide. Now before you start doing this moneymaker, I highly suggest that you check the margins between the dragon hide and the dragon leather in the GE. Make sure you check the prices of the green, the blue, red, and black dragon hides so you can pick the one that is the most profitable at the time. Because prices are always changing, you want to make sure that you pick the one with the highest profit. In this case, it was the black dragon hide. Now if you want to make a little bit more money, uh, what you can do is you can put in a low offer on whatever dehyde you want to tan and put it in overnight. That way it'll take some time to buy, but you'll get it at a better price and then whenever you tan it and sell it back for more money, you'll get a bigger return on your investment. Now, like I said before, the prices on dragon hide and dragon leather are always changing since they're used very often. So you want to make sure that even when you're done tanning all of the dragon hides, that you let them sit in the GE for a little bit higher than what you would normally sell them for. It might take some time to sell off all of the dragon leather, but you, uh, you have at least made a good amount of money. Now, as for some tips when you're doing this method, as far as stamina goes, my stamina did reach zero, I think maybe three or four times. And what you could do is you could either bring stamina potions, which is going to dig into your profits a little bit. Uh, I had one doses lined up in my bank, but I didn't end up using them. Instead, I teleported to my house and just used the ornate rejuvenation pool, which restored my stamina all the way back to 100. If you don't have a ornate rejuvenation pool, you can either go to world 330 and use someone else's, or you can just choose not to teleport out and just walk whenever you're out of stamina. Since the tanner and the bank are pretty close together, walking isn't that big of a difference. So it's not a big deal if you're walking for a little bit, letting your stamina regenerate, and then you run whenever it's full again. 
Now, I did explain earlier that the more money you have, the more money you can essentially make doing this money making method. And that is very true because I actually ran out of dehydes while doing this. I bought 6,000 thinking that I wouldn't need that many because the tanning method at Al Karid suggested that you would tan around 2,800 dragon hides. So I figured that 6,000 would be more than enough using the crafting guild. But I was very, very wrong. So when I had to leave and go to the GE to buy more dragon hides, I made sure that I paused the timer and then I came back and everything else went smoothly. Now, of course, this won't be a big problem for you because you're not really on a time limit. This was just for the one hour video. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing a one hour straight of just tanning dehydes. But like I said before, you don't need 20 mil. It just helps out to have more money. That way you can buy all the dehydes beforehand and you don't have to make multiple trips to and from the GE. The intensity of this moneymaker was, I'd say it was pretty interesting. It was a lot of clicking. It kind of reminded me of like really efficient skilling methods, but once you get into it, it's not too bad. I got into a rhythm and it just kind of was second nature to me. But for the most part, I'd say the hardest part about this is finding Tanner because every single time you go up to the second floor, it's like he's hiding. It's, it's literally a game of hide and seek. Every time you go up there, he's hiding somewhere. Sometimes he's standing directly underneath you and it takes me a while to, to find him and it's just chaotic sometimes. But besides playing hide and seek with Tanner and the mindless clicking that you'll be doing for however long you choose to do this method, it's not too bad. It's not very AFK, but when you see the profit that you can make from this, it's actually a pretty good deal. Especially if you don't have access to higher PVM content like fighting Vorkath or Zora. This is actually a pretty nice money maker. And I've got to say, the difference between tanning here at the Crafting Guild and tanning at Al Karid is huge. The distance that you have to run from the Alcarid bank to the tanner over there is just so much further. You're gonna need stamina pots and if you don't use stamina pots you're gonna be walking for quite a while. Here they're just so close together that you just tan so many. Like I said before the wiki said you would get around 2800 tanned and here we're already over 7000 tanned so yeah I'd say if you can do it at the crafting guild definitely do it there. And now as we look at the clock we can see that we are just about finished with our one hour from tanning dragon hides in the crafting guild. We can now go to the GE, sell all of our dragon leather, and then calculate the margins that we were getting per dragon hide and calculate the total profit made. We can see here in the bank that I finished with 7,884 dragon leather. You can also see how the black dehyde actually moved up to the top. I think that's just from so much clicking. I did have a couple misclicks here and there and it just managed to move up two spaces somehow so I thought that was pretty funny. So now we're here at the GE and we can finally put our dragon leather into the GE for the price that we choose. I decided to put it at the OS Buddy actively traded price of 3,246 coins but you'll see later that I actually changed the price because I saw the prices moving around and I just didn't want to lose too much money on this. I didn't want to risk losing potential profit that I could make by just letting them sit there. So I came back after a while, saw that I had actually sold, I believe, eight of them. And I just said, you know, I'll just put it in there for a safer price. That price being 3,230 coins. And as soon as I sold them, half of them, or it looks like half of them, sold instantly. And then shortly after, the rest came through. And we can finally collect our total loot from our one hour of tanning black dragon hide. And now if we get out of the GE and go to our price checker, we can see how much money we got back from all of the dragon leather that we sold. And it looks like 25.4 mil that we got from the dragon leather that we sold. Now we can go ahead and do some more precise calculations to see exactly how much money we made from one hour of tanning dragon leather. So if we subtract the amount of money that we spent on the dragon hides, which was 23,376,060 GP from the total amount of money that we made, which was 25,439,480 GP, we get a total amount of 2,063,420 GP. But then we have to subtract the money that we spent to tan the dragon hide. And at 20 GP per dragon hide, we subtract 157,000 680 GP giving us a total profit of 1,905,740 GP from one hour of tanning dragon hide. That's honestly a lot more money than what I was expecting from this one hour. Now 
The margin that I was getting on the black tea head at this time was 265. So I paid 2,965 per black dragon hide and then I sold it for 3,230, giving me a margin of 265. But then you gotta subtract the cost of tanning, which is 20. So at this point in time, each dragon hide that I tanned, I was getting around 245 coins for each one. Now, obviously prices will fluctuate, but like I said before, make sure you check the margins on the dragon hides before you start this money making method. You wanna make sure that you get the one with the highest margins. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment, like, and maybe even subscribe. But that's it for this one, and I will catch you guys next time.